Hello everyone, this session we are going to see what a post correspondence problem is. Actually a post correspondence problem or we usually call it as an PCP problem. Uh, this is a puzzle problem. Here uh, the input to this is like we have some set of elements like this. Expressed in numerator and denominator. Okay, a single set we call it as a single domino. Actually we will give, we'll be given with some set of dominoes like this and we want to rearrange these set of dominoes. Okay, like we may either rearrange within this or you can have some n number of repetition of single domino too. Like the arrangement like I can have this a b by a b a b a by a b b I can take this domino a by a sorry b a b or some set of domino collections like this we have to arrange these dominoes like this and after arranging we have to club all the strings that formed by this numerator and all the strings that formed by this by combining this denominator we will have a string after combining see here you have a b b a and a this is a string that formed by this numerator and by combining all the denominators we have a b a a b b b a b Okay, so we have to check that these two are equal. We have to make an arrangement of this domino in such a way that after combining, like after making this arrangement, we have to combine all the strings that combine, like we have to combine all the numerator and form a string like this and combine all the denominator form a string like this and they should be same. So as I told you, this is like a puzzle. A set of dominoes will be given to you and your duty is you have to arrange these dominoes in a way such that it should have a solution for it. The strings that are formed by combining all the numerator should be equal to the strings that are formed by combining all the denominator. The expression of the domino might be either like this. Okay, There are two ways of expressing a domino. We can express a domino like this. Some set of dominoes with a numerator and denominator. Or the same thing you can express it like this too. We'll have, <clears throat> we'll have some list of elements. Okay. Uh, usually denoted with X and Y. X denoted denotes this numerator portion and Y denotes this denominator portion. Okay. So whenever you are taking an element, that element has to be taken as a pair with X, Y. And we have, the, we have to make an arrangement in this such that the string that are formed by this X should be equal to the string that are formed by Y. Okay, now I'll give you an example for and solution and dominoes with solution. Okay, okay, uh, consider these set of dominoes. Now, now we are going to form a solution from this. We are going to solve this puzzle. We are going to rearrange these dominoes such that uh, it has a solution. Solution in the sense the strings formed by combining all the numerator should be equal to the string that are formed by this denominator. Okay. So the first step here is we have to choose a matching domino as the first one. For example, see here when you start this with this domino, here you have A in the numerator and B in the denominator. Okay, so whatever dominoes you, re you replace over here, this is, an, this is not a match, right? Here you have A and this is different, you have B. So we should not start a domino like this. Here also A, B, different one, B, A, different one, B, A, different one. This is the only domino in the given set that have a solution. See here you have A and in the denominator also you have A and numerator you have next B and here also you have B. A, B, A, B. So we can start a domino set like this. I can have A, B by A, B, A. Okay. So for this A, B, this A, B will be a match. Okay. Now you have <clears throat> an extra a in the denominator so that should be there in the numerator so now we have to choose the next domino that has a in the numerator in this possible set of dominoes there are three domino that have a in the numerator so you can choose any one i just start uh, using this you know domino a by a b a okay so for this a this a will be matched now in the denominator we have some extra b a b so we have to check a domino that either have this b or b a or b a b in the numerator so here we have two dominoes that have b in the starting of it you can choose any one accordingly 
okay so it is like a non deterministic problem we can have some n number of solutions out of which if one possible solution have a match then this pcp have a solution for it okay so the the way of choosing these dominoes is up to the user either you can choose this or you can choose this okay but our ultimate aim is we have we should have a choose a domino that have a solution for it i just choose this ab by abb domino so when i choose this ab by abb for this ab this ab will be cancelled <coughs> now in the denominator we have an extra ba bb now again we should have a we should have a domino that starts with b or ba okay so i can take any one domino from this i just take this domino b by ab I'm sorry ab when i take this domino b by ab <coughs> for this b this b will be cancelled now in the now here in the denominator we have an extra abb ab so we should choose a domino that either have a or ab or abb in the numerator i can directly choose this domino abb by b so as a whole this abb and abb will get cancelled off for this entire abb this abb will be cancelled okay so now in denominator we have an extra aba so when you have this sorry this is abb by b so now in the denominator we have an extra abb so i can again use the same domino abb by b so that this entire abb will be cancelled for this abb now in denominator we have an extra b when you have extra b in the denominator we should choose a domino that have b so here we have two possible dominoes that have b so what happen when you take this b we can have like we can choose any one it is up to the user to choose it i choose this domino for this b this b will be cancelled now we have ab in the denominator we can choose any domino again i choose this domino abb by b so when i choose abb by b what happen this ab and this ab will be cancelled and for this b this b will be cancelled now all the numerator and denominator are cancelled off now we'll see the string that are formed by combining the numerator and denominator when you combine all the numerator in the set what happen here you have ab a b a b a b b and you have abb b abb okay so you can have these here this abb by b uh, domino is repeated for n number of times so that is also allowed one domino can be repeated for n number of times but our ultimate aim is it should have a solution for it now in the denominator we have aba bab then abb here you have ab b one more b and a b b so this is the string that are formed by combining all the numerator and this is the string that is formed by combining all the denominator so these these two string are same okay see everything is same over here so this is an post correspondence problem if you have a possible solution for it you can arrange the domino in any way if by any one way if we have a solution we can say that the pcp has a match okay sometimes problem here is some uh, some of for some of the set of these dominoes you may have an recurrence inside okay so when you have a recurrence the, the, this will go into an undefined loop okay so that type of pcp doesn't have a solution for it okay so now we want to prove that this post correspondence problem is undecidable now that will see in your next session thank you